Good morning, summer campers. Welcome to GBN GYC Broadcasting Network. I am Katiana Williams. I hope everyone had a great day yesterday. Please continue to follow all rules and instructions from your teaching and staff. Remember, your behavior and attendance will determine if you participate in any GYC activities or field trips. So do the right thing, keep striving, and showing that GYC pride. And now we'll have a prayer by Mr. Wolford. Good morning. It's again a great opportunity to just appreciate what we've been uh, given here at Given Given Youth Achievement Center. What I mean by given is that the opportunity to stay connected academically as well as activities for uh, physical development. And we are very happy that we have those opportunities here at the center. With that being said, bow your heads with me for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for all that you do. We take for granted sometimes that we arise up in the morning, wash our face, get ready. to increase and enhance our well-being, not only physically, mentally, and intellectually, in all aspects, in a holistic like fashion. Help these young people to continue to do great things each morning they come. Let them leave with one more great idea to enhance their future. We look up the teachers. To the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Summer campers, please repeat after me. I am a kid at hope. I am a kid at hope. I am talented. I am talented. Smart. Smart. And capable of success. And capable of success. I have dreams for the future. I have dreams for the future. And I will climb. And I will climb. To reach. To reach. Those goals. Those goals. And dreams. And dreams. Every day. Every day. All children. All children. Are capable of success. Are capable of success. No exceptions. No exceptions. And now all teachers, please repeat after me. As an adult, is not a as an adult and a treasure hunter. As an adult and a treasure hunter. I am committed. I am committed to search. To search. Yesterday started the day. The moment you accept yourself, you become beautiful. Today's thought of the day, the main. Thank you. And now we'll have a GYC information by Mr. Leah Mitchell. Thank you. Welcome to GYC information. For today's activities, we have drink chasers going golfing from 2.30 to 4. Fifth, first through fifth grade, we'll be going bowling, 1.30 to 3.30. Uh, the Navy SEAL tour will take place this Friday, so please be here by 9 o'clock if you are selected to go. Uh, GYC is not responsible for any lost or stolen items. Make sure you secure your belongings. For students, cell phones are only allowed in the classroom with your teacher's permission. No cell phone is allowed outside the, outside the no cell phone is allowed in the restroom, hallway, or gym. Any violation of the cell phone rule and your phone will be taken and given back to at the end of the day before you leave. Anyone who needs to call home must go to the rec office to make that call with your teacher's permission. Thank you, Mr. Ms. Katia. Thank you. And now we'll have our world current event by Mr. Jordan McPherson. Good morning, GYC. My name is Jordan McPherson, and this is What's Happening in the World. A son was kidnapped 24 years ago. And he was just reunited with his father today. Uh, scientists show that this child was kidnapped around the age of three to four years old while he was at the park one day with his mother. 24 years later, the son has been found, 
and they did, did a DNA test on him to find, and they found his father. So now he's reunited with his family. In other news, please be careful on how you treat your peers and your classmates. These Burger King workers all just quit on the same day, all because they weren't getting treated fairly and the work environment was toxic for them. So, uh, a supervisor says that the environment was toxic and even the supervisor Good morning. This is Get Sporty. In tennis, Roger Federer, who is considered a top three tennis player, will miss the 2021 Tokyo Olympics due to a knee injury. In basketball, Team USA has finally won their first exhibition game of the year, defeating Argentina last night, 108 to 80. They have five players scoring double figure points. Make sure you tune in tonight to game four of the NBA Finals to see if Milwaukee will tie the series or if Phoenix will take a commanding 3-1 lead and win their first title. Back to you. Oh, this was Get Sporty. Back to you, Ms. Kathy. Thank you. Before we go, we have a special guest, Ms. Zaria Reason, a past student here at GYAC. GYAC from kindergarten until the 12th grade and now a freshman at FAMU. Ms. Zaria, please welcome to GBN GYAC Broadcasting Network. We have a few questions we would like to ask you about your experience as a freshman and what advice can you give our students in preparation for college life? Our first question will come from me and I would like to say, how do you separate your social life from your books? Um, first of all, good morning, everybody. Um, how I social, I mean, how I separate my social life from my books. Um, in the morning, I make sure I get up and I handle all of my business first, because I know once I get later in the day, I'm not going to be too prone to handle my business later in the day, because I'm probably going to be sleeping or doing something else with my friends. So what I do is I like to get up early, go ahead and go to class, do my work when I get back, make sure I have, I'm, I have my planner. It's in my backpack. I have my planner, and then I make sure I have my laptop with me at all times so I can do my work. So that's how I separate my stuff. Okay, and I got one more question for you. Okay. <laughs> Have you tried to try to replace your bestie yet? Me? <laughs> um, no, I haven't. You still there? You still got your spot? So no. <laughs> All right. And the next person would be Aaliyah. Um, how independent have you became since you left? Very. I've had to do everything. Um, ever since my mom left, I've had to do everything myself. Like I had to take Ubers. I have to um, pay for my food, pay for um, stuff from the bookstore, um, figure out how I'm gonna eat every day. Um, you really have to take care of yourself because you don't have anybody up here. You don't have your car your freshman year. So you really have to be disciplined enough to take care of yourself up here. Um, do your work because nobody's gonna be on your back. Um, make sure you stay in contact with your professors and stuff like that. So I've had to become really independent um, being up here by myself. All right. And next we'll have Jordan. Um, my question is, what was the hardest part about your transition from high school into college? Um, well, for me, the hardest part um, was leaving my parents and leaving my family because I always... I, you know, I go home every night to my parents. So, and then plus I don't have my vehicle. Like I'm so used to going where I'm supposed to go and leaving when I want to, and I don't have that freedom anymore. So um, that was the big, like the hardest thing. Like as far as school is concerned, like my classes aren't hard. I just have to do my work. So that wasn't really hard for me, but just leaving home and like not having, I mean, the flexibility to go where you want to go and leave when you want to, you have to walk everywhere. And it's a big campus with a lot of hills. So it, you can get hot and sweaty. So but that's my biggest um, adjustment from leaving home. All right, next we'll have Chris. Hey, Xaria. Hey, Chris. Uh, so <laughs> there's a lot of food up there. What's your favorite restaurant that you eat? <laughs> um, <laughs> so far, my favorite food up here is A-Town because the wings are so good. Um, okay, okay. Yes, yes. A-Town is okay. good. And next and, um, we'll have Tenacious. Okay. My question for you is, how much sleep do you get? 
<laughs> it depends. Um, in college, I mean, it depends for me. Honestly, some nights, most nights, I really don't go to bed until like 12 or 1 in the morning. But my classes start around 1130. So it's not like I have super early classes and everything. But, you know, once you get with like your classmates, like y'all just be doing stuff like you just go explore. Like it's just it's stuff to do, but it's not much to do. But you have people with you. So sometimes we just be up to like 12, 1. And then sometimes I'm in the bed at like 10 or 9. So it really depends. And then sometimes I don't get back until like 2 or 3. But hey, so. <laughs> All right, and last but not least, Mr. Woolfork. Hello, Ariel. Hi. <laughs> what you say right now? What'd you say? <laughs> I want to ask one question. Being uh, HBCU FAMU, what are some qualities that you found already that exist there at FAMU? At FAMU, okay. At FAMU, it really is a family, seriously. Like when I first got here, everybody treated me so nicely. Like my roommate welcomed me. Um, you just, you, um, at first I didn't make too many friends, but once I left my room, I started to make friends and stuff like that. Everybody is, is really like a family for real. And um, everybody's on their grind here. Like nobody's slacking. Everybody's trying to get their degree and get somewhere better than where they were. Like it's no, it's not like high school where you have to be here. Everybody wants to be here. And um, I think that's a good quality that FAMU has. And it's a lot of school spirit here. So nobody's like, you know, shame about loving FAMU. Like everybody loves FAMU the same. So I think that's like some really good qualities that FAMU has. And that's why I chose to go here. Go around, go around. <laughs> <laughs> no, his Wildcats. No, no, no. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Xaria, for spending your morning with us. We hope that everything works out for you in your freshman year. And good luck. Stay in contact, please. Yes, I um, will. And I want to thank you for tuning in to the GBN GYC Broadcasting Network. I am Katiana Williams. Make it great day or not. The choice is yours. Thank you. Have a good and safe day.